Hello, beautiful butterflies. All right. Happy Thankful Thursday. So I've been watching these videos a little bit about Tony Evans stepping down under this, oh, excuse me, Reverend Tony Evans, in case you weren't aware, stepping down over this unknown, secret, old-ass sin. And that is so bizarre to me. And the reason why is because, number one, everybody sins. Everybody. Number two, there are no little sins and big sins. Sin is sin. If anybody say that they have no sin, they're a lie and the truth is not in them. That's Bible. So now you done got in your mind that you have a spectacular sin that you committed a while ago and you stayed in the pulpit, you kept taking offerings, you kept popping up on the radio and on the television or wherever it is that you do your stuff and now all of a sudden you are bailing which makes me think that either you did something to somebody that's coming out to complain about you and you're trying to get ahead of that or your sin was so egregious that even though it doesn't involve anybody else your so called elders are like Listen, man, you need to resign, i.e. step down, or you're fired. Which I also have a little bit of a problem with. I mean, y'all might not know this. Damn it, it's always, a, it's always a helicopter, right? Why so many helicopters? That's called the war on... It used to be the war on drugs, but now it's the war on people. And they're out looking for somebody, which always makes me feel like it's dangerous to even be sitting outside when I hear a helicopter. Because that means somebody's out here wilding. Anywho, I digress. So, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yeah. this The fact that you even have elders that can say we're going to fire you, that's a problem. I'm a preacher's kid. That's what I was going to say. Y'all might not know this, but my father was a pastor before he passed away. And... Before he was a pastor, he was a deacon and a choir member, and we were just regular old churchgoers. So I've been there throughout this whole process. And if I was a pastor of a church, could nobody but God fire me, God and or the congregation, and the congregation could fire me by just stop coming. I'm not having no boss. I'll start that church with five people and build it up to whatever it's going to be, and if I'm the pastor, then I'm the boss. Not saying that I can't be fired, but I can't be fired by any elders. Mm -mm, I'm not going that way. If I if I was a pastor, I would go the more organic way. Not like I have a job or anything. You know? I mean, employers. That's what I mean. But anyway, I think that this is so scandalous. I think that if that man wanted to step down, he should have just quietly stepped down. He's sufficiently old that he could just say, I retire, effective immediately, and keep his mouth shut. Because all this mystery is scandalous. And the Bible says everything should be done in decency and in order. Whatever the scandal is, you brought more scandal to it by trying to be secretive about it. In my opinion, I'm just keeping an eye on the time. You know, why be secretive? Don't or be more secretive. Okay, it's either come out and say I retire, case closed. I, it's been great. I love y'all. Peace. I'm going back to my pew. I will still come to church, but I'm going back to my pew. Or come out and say what the sin is. And give us some a real explanation why you did it a long time ago. You knew it was wrong, and you're just coming out to tell us about it now. Or give us more of a warning. Let us know that there's some lady that's going to come out with a blue dress, with a stain on it or something. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. And I know I'm laughing or smiling, but really this is not funny. It's happening to so many people. T.D. Jakes. They got Benny Hinn on something. 
They got all of them on something. I'm not going to start naming people who they got something on. But I'm just saying. I say we be in prayer. <laughs> one faith, one baptism, one church, one God. And yeah, God bless Tony Evans for whatever it is he's going through and his family and his flock. That's it. Peace.